Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video about VLMC. Everybody knows about VLC. VLC is one of the better video programs for watching movies on a computer. It runs on a Mac, it runs on Windows, and it runs on Linux. And this is the Linux version I'm running Ubuntu. With this program, you can even record what you're watching. Very few people are aware that VLC also has a non-linear video editing program. There are, all, are already some video editing programs that you can get in Ubuntu. One of them is called AVI DMUX and with it you can drag and drop files into the program and you don't have to put them in order from the first file, the second file, the third file. You can put them in any order and shorten them and add titles and other things. These programs are pretty much the same. Uh, some people like one and another will like a different one. This is Pitivi. It's very similar to AVI DMUX and they are leapfrogging each other by adding features. But you can get one now for VLC and I'm going to show you how to get it and install it. Just go to your browser and type in VLMC and when you do you will go to their page and their page will show you how to download the program. Download and source code. This is Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'm doing Ubuntu. Since I am doing Ubuntu, I am going to have to open a terminal and copy this business into it. Control C, that copies it. Control Alt T, that opens up a terminal. Contro Control Shift V, pastes. Put in my password. You would put in your password. Now we've got to put in these other two things, sudo apt get update and sudo apt get install vlmc. I'm grabbing both of them and I'm going to hit control C. I'm going to go control shift V for special paste. doesn't take very long. We are going through this method because this program is not available yet in the Ubuntu Software Center. There are a whole bunch of programs which are not in the Ubuntu Software Center. And if they're not in the Ubuntu Software Center, you have to do this method with the terminal. It's uh, not as easy to do as if you have Windows and there's an EXE installation program. I suppose there are some advantages doing it this way. You get automatic updates. You get to pick if or not you think the source is safe. Generally speaking, Almost all of these sources are pretty safe, especially the well-known programs like this. Nevertheless, keep in mind you can fry your system. So make backups all the time. 
I have a rather slow laptop. It is one of the earlier ones with a, I guess, very slow processor, so this is going to take a while. I may edit this business out, and if so, the video is going to be shorter. If it doesn't take too long, I'll go right into the program itself. Incidentally, you should be seeing on screen two cursors. I've got this zoomed in and uh, when I do that I have not been able to get rid of the other cursor. Let's now go and look at our menu structure and see if it's been installed. I do not see it. I may have been able to go through the first one there, uh, sudo apt-get update, and it may not have done sudo apt-get install vlmc. So let me try that. Control C. Go back to terminal. Oh, that's this terminal. Let me get another terminal going. Control Shift V special paste. I did my password. Control Shift special paste. There we go. The terminal to the left is what is recording this screen with FFmpeg. I've got another tutorial that shows how to do screencast recordings with FFmpeg. Well, it says I'm done. Let's close this terminal, diminish this terminal. Let's go to Applications, Sound and Video. I do not see VLMC. Well, Let's go open another terminal and type in VLMC. I've got it. It's just not in it's just not in my menu. This is VLMC. And this program is a non-linear video editing program create a new project. I don't know what I'm doing, so open. I don't know what to, to do. Uh, let's go get some uh, videos. And I think it must be very limited in what kind of videos it can take because I have a whole bunch of videos in here. VLMC project file? No. Cancel. Create a new project. Next. Let's just call it test. Workspace. I think I might just want to put it on the desktop. Open. Next. I can pick width, height, frames a second, and so on. Aha! Now we've got drag and drop. It's starting to look familiar. Looks very much like AVID MUX or PTV. What I want to do is drag a couple of files into this. Import. My 
my YouTube videos. OK. I dragged an MKV file into this. So far, I don't see it. Aha, uh -huh, here's what we have to do. Pretty intuitive. I've got two files in there now. OK. Clip preview. I can I can hear it. It started playing the second file. And so far so good. I think this might be as good a program as perhaps any of the others. I'm going to work with it for several hours or several days to see if I can get it to where I can evaluate it objectively and in, instead of just saying well this one was hard to start up so I don't like it. I've done that before. In fact I did that with VLC. And I will add on to this video. And my name is Pop, and I'll see you again. Thank you very much.